Good day, Salem. I'm your mayor, Chuck Bennett. Today, I'm asking for your help to spread the word about meals and resources in our community. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect our city and local economy, food resources for some individuals and families have been impacted. The good news is that this week, the Oregon Department of Human Services launched a food resources webpage to help direct residents to the food resources they need to meet their individual or family needs. The site provides information in 11 languages to ensure they are reaching the various communities which make up our wonderful state. Please be sure to refer to the end of the video for information on resources like Marion Polk Food Share Pantries and their Meals on Wheels program. Let's not forget the Drive Up Meal Service for Seniors at Center 50 Plus and the Meals for Children and Teens through Salem uh, Kaiser Public Schools. Uh, I'm also pleased to have with me today Fire Chief Mike Niblock who's going to share with us some details about the new Community Connect service. Well, welcome, Chief. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time today to come visit with us about a new program you've got, uh, and then share any thoughts you have about uh, what's going on in terms of people's uh, safety and the impact uh, uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has been happening on your department and the city as a whole. Uh, I'd like to kind of start off with uh, just a uh, just sort of a short comment and question. The most common contact I get, uh, whether it's email or a phone call, is what can I do to help first responders? Would they like a pizza? Would they <laughs> like to have uh, flowers? What can I do? And I think you've got a, a really uh, important answer for folks today. Well, thank you, Mayor. It's a pleasure to be here today, and uh, uh, we love pizza. But yeah, I understand. <laughs> uh, who doesn't? Yeah, but, uh, don't, we're all living on it right we now. We get the same question you get. Well, yeah. How can I help you uh, better respond to my emergency? And um, we're excited to roll out a a new program called Community Connect, and it's a uh, you can download it on your smartphone. Okay. And it allows you to provide us, the fire department with information that we may need to know before we get to your address, before you have your emergency. So a little bit, little bit like emergency prep uh, type stuff. But you can tell us uh, if you've, uh, for example, uh, you have a two-story home or you have all your bedrooms are upstairs or where your natural gas shut off is, if you have pets. Uh, we have that information when the 911 com call comes in it's loaded up automatically through the computer system. No one sees it except the company officer in the fire truck that's coming to your house. Okay. Very secure. So it's private. Very private. Um, we are a HIPAA, um, Health Information Protection Act compliant. Uh, Which means you can't disclose We my... can't disclose okay. information. Okay. So, but we use the information to help us better serve you. So if you have somebody in your house who is wheelchair bound uh, and you have a fire, if we know that before we get there, we know we have uh, uh, certain things we need to do to rescue that person. Right. You can include your pets. Many people want to tell us that they have a dog and a cat. And uh, so now they have a vehicle to do that. And it's really, we're really excited about this. We've ha we announced it May 8th, and we already have 124 people signed up to this already. I'm one. And I'm one as well. So I would encourage people uh, as they learn about this to take advantage of it and really share some basic information. You can share as much or as little information as you want. Now, one aspect we really want to focus on is the COVID-19. Right. This is impacting the world, uh, the United States, and our community as well. And as our responders are going out in the community, we're treating, the, we're treating patients who have COVID-19 or maybe recovered from COVID-19 or have tested negative or have no symptoms. You can go in and we'd, we'd like people to, it's uh, voluntary, but we'd like people to self-report their status for their family. So when I did my thing, I filled out four, four, four adults, no, no COVID-19. Right. So when responders come to my house, they're aware of the status. And you can go in at any time with your own username and password and change your status. So if your status changes, you can change your account. Uh, one of the other things about the Connect uh, mm -hmm. program that you're uh, talking about with me today is this has application 
into the future for any kind of uh, community crisis, uh, whether it's an earthquake, a conflagration, or whatever, this is information that you'll be able to use from now on in terms of, of knowing what's going on where you're headed, uh, at the place you're headed, I guess. Absolutely. Uh, from the most basic thing that you can put in there, your address and your phone number, if that's all you put in and we have an incident at your house or we have a major incident like an earthquake, we could, if, we, if the phones are still up, we could call that number to make sure you're all right. Right. Are you trapped in the rubble? Are you, are you not even at home? You're on vacation. So just every little piece of information really helps us uh, maintain your security and your safety uh, during an event, whether it's a, a small event or a large event like this. Is there anything else, else on this I should be asking you about uh, that you'd like to share? Um, yes. The, the other thing I think uh, that is, can trouble people sometimes when people start asking for health information or, yeah. um, you know, I'll use myself as an example, so uh, I'll disclose some things here. Um, yeah, I have uh, uh, some conditions that are uh, pre-existing conditions that would uh, expose me to COVID would be more harmful to me. So I listed those in my profile. So when the firefighters come to my house, they know that I have a couple of pre-existing conditions, but I'm negative for COVID-19. Right. So this, this software that we're using, the database we're using is bank level mm -hmm. encryption protected. Uh, no one can see it except the person that's coming to your house. So I don't have access to it. Police don't have access to it. The dispatcher doesn't see it. It is behind the scenes and it's bank level encryption security. It's for me that for I you. have filed this for my safety for, right. uh, for the person who's coming to help me right. and the two of us working together are going to more effectively yep. be able to deal with my emergency, whatever it is. There you go. Great. Well, I hope you'll take a, a look at this uh, and sign up for this program. It is part of the broader uh, emergency response program, but it has such tremendous application today. So watch your screen. Uh, you'll also be getting information on this in your utility bill. Please sign up. Do something for the EMTs and the first responders and the firefighters today. And this is one of the best things you can do. Thank you very much.